Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, May the 12th. Well, quite an indecisive uh, day on the market today. And if we look at the character of the candle, the candle is still red, so essentially still a, uh, a bearish candle. But if we look at, the, look at the size of the body, the body is very, very small. And it's not what you, you want to see in a new first time frame downtrend. We do have a downtrend in place now. We have a lower high and a lower low. So we have a first time frame downtrend. But what we'd want to see is at least quite a lot of uh, a fair bit of bearishness coming into this market. This candle at the moment is very, very indecisive. Very small body, which means that there was little net gain by the bulls or the bears for the day. And it's very similar to a spinning top, not quite a spinning top. And if we look at the shadows or the wicks, we can see that there's quite a long wick on the bottom and there was a lot of buying coming in. As the market traded down through 900, the buyers came in and bought the market back up. Now, looking at our uh, Ichimoku indicators, if we look at the Tenkan Sen, which is the green line, and the Kijin Sen, the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijin Sen, which means that the market is still uh, quite bullish. We're trading up above the cloud or the Kumo and the cloud twisted quite some time ago, so a lot of bullishness in this market. Uh, we still have some upside momentum in the short term with uh, that uh, Tenkan Sen still uh, pointing pointing up. But if we look at the Kijun Sen, it's flat. And that means that in the longer term time frame, the market is losing momentum. So it means that we're either consolidating or we might get some sort of a pullback. Now with this sort of a day, this is not if you're a bear, this is not the sort of candle that you'd like to see. So I expect that um, if the high of uh, today's candle is taken out, then the uptrend will continue on its way. Now we need to be mindful of the resistance that's close by, and that's that resistance here around this level and in this zone. As we know, resistance will work in a zone. We need to take out this level to be much more bullish than we are. So if the market does begin a new first time frame uptrend tomorrow then we need to be careful of that resistance area mm -hmm.